The EWG, or the Environmental Working Group, makes the Dirty Dozen every spring. They take the USDA pesticide data and they count the number of pesticides on each fruit or vegetable. They're not at all taking into account what the chemicals actually are and the doses. They're also not taking into account how far below the tolerance level these detections are. This data is actually showing us year after year how safe our produce is from a pesticide residue perspective. The residues are detected at levels hundreds to thousands of times below the tolerance levels. They also aren't mentioning the fact that organic uses pesticides and will have pesticide residues too, but those ones aren't even being tested for. This is the number of servings that a child could consume on a daily basis of the fruits and vegetables on the Dirty Dozen list and still without having any effect from the pesticide, even if it had the highest pesticide residue level ever recorded by the USDA. Again, this is based on a child's weight, not even an adult weight, which would be a lot more servings than this. Beyond the fact that it's just incorrect, it is also harmful misinformation. Studies have shown that incorrectly telling consumers that conventional produce is unsafe because of pesticides leads them to buying less produce overall. Please stop promoting the Dirty Dozen.